Let's talk about irritable bowel. What does that really mean? An irritable bowel just means it's irritable. Is that a disease process? It's, I think it's not really a disease so much as a, as a list of symptoms that go along together and we call that something. An irritable bowel or a spastic bowel is just an irritability in the intestines to where they just don't work the way they should. It's not that there's anything wrong. There, there's no inflammation, there's no blockage, there's no tumor. They're just irritable. Some yeah. days they're good. Some days they're not. Some days things work perfect and some days they not. Very frustrating for patients because they can say, I ate that food, Dr. Hadek, and God, was I bloated and full. But I ate that same food 24 hours later and I was great. So what's going on? Well, it's just an irritability in the nerves and muscles that just don't function in there. You know, our, our bellies are, is really a brain of itself. If you took our intestines out and put it on a table, they'd work. They don't need our brain to do that. They can work on their own. And uh, there's a lot of research going into why that happens. One of the biggest problems with irritable bowel is you can't prove it. You can't do a blood test. You can't do an x-ray. It's just a list of symptoms that go along uh, with, the, with that condition. Do they have more diarrhea? Do they have more constipation? Do, is the belly pain in a certain area? Well, I guess it's, there's different types and subtypes. There's IBSD, IBS diarrhea. Those patients wax and wane from normal to diarrhea. There's IBSC, constipation. They wax and wane. Sometimes they're normal, sometimes they're constipated. And then there's the mixed variety where they go back and forth. They'll have two, three, four stools of one day, and then nothing happens for four days. That's very frustrating. And the irritable bowel pain usually is in the center, right around the belly button, but it really can be anywhere. 